Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing volume. So I do have all of the formulas written here for you, but remember you can also find these formulas on your formula chart. So there's no need to memorize them. It can help you, but you will be given your formula chart on your star test and you should use that to double check that you have these formulas correct. So let's start with volume of a cylinder. It is just capital B times H. And remember capital B means area of the base, which in the case of a cylinder is a circle. So we're gonna do pi R squared. So number one says find the volume of the cylinder. I see that they gave me the radius of 4.5. There's my bases. I need to find the area of these bases and multiply it by the height of 10. So first thing I'm going to do is write down the formula, which is V equals capital B H. I'm going to find B by doing pi R squared. So I'll do pi times my radius was 4.5 squared. So let's find the area of the space. I'm gonna do pi times my radius of 4.5 squared. So the area of the base of that cylinder is about 63.6. And now I need to multiply that by my height. My height was 10. So to find the volume, I will take that base I got, 63.6, and multiply it by the height of 10. So I'm just going to take that answer I got. The calculator remembers that's the last answer you got, so I'm just going to hit times my height of 10. And I get 63 or 636.2 is what that would round to meters cubed for volume. Okay, let's look at number two. It says a cylinder has a height of 18 feet and a diameter of seven feet. What is the volume of the cylinder? So I need two things to find the volume of a cylinder. I need the radius, which they gave me the diameter seven. So to find the radius, I would do seven divided by two, which is 3.5. And I need the height, which they gave me, which is 18 feet. So to find the volume, I'm gonna do area of the base times the height. To find the area of the base of a cylinder, we do pi r squared. So I'm gonna do pi times 3.5 squared. So pi times 3.5 squared is about 38.5. So my base is about 38.5. So to find the volume, I will do my base of 38.5 times the height of 18. So I'm just gonna take that answer that I got for my base and multiply it by the height of 18. And I get 692.7, rounded to the nearest 10th, feet cubed. Okay, let's look at the next one, volume of cones. It's the same thing, but it's one third times the area of the circular base times the height. So I still need the same two things to find the volume of a cone. I need the radius, which in this cylinder, there's my base, the height is 8.5. My radius would be five since my diameter is 10, and then the height is 8.5. So to find the volume, I'll do one third times the area of the base times the height. So let's find the area of the base by doing pi r squared. So I'm gonna do a pi times my radius of five squared to find the base. So pi times five squared is 78.5. So I'm just going to round that to 78.5. So to find the volume of the cone, I'll do one third times that base I just got of 78.5 times the height of 8.5. So in my calculator, I'm going to do one third 
I'm going to set up the fraction template by doing alpha y equals. We're going to do 1 divided by 3 times. I want the base that I just got from doing pi times 5 squared. And your calculator remembers that last answer you got. If you hit the second negative key, since it says answer in blue above the negative key, now there's the base. And then I'm going to multiply it by the height of 8.5 and I get 222.5, rounded to the nearest tenth, inches cubed for the volume. Okay, let's look at number four. It says find the volume of a cone that has a radius of 2.5 and a height of 18 yards. So we need two things to find the volume of a cone. We need the radius, which is 2.5, and the height, which is 18. So to find the volume, I'll do 1 third times the area of the base times the height. So let's find the area of the base by doing pi r squared. The radius here is 2.5, so I'll do pi times 2.5 squared, and that will tell me what the base is. So pi times 2.5 squared is 19, about 19.6. So to find the volume of the cone, I'll do 1 third times that base of 19.6 times the height of 18. So I'm going to get my fraction template alpha y equals with 1 third, and then we're going to do times the base I just got. So I'm going to hit the second negative key and then times the height of 18. And the volume of this cone would be about 117.8 yards cubed. Okay, the last shape that we learned how to find the volume of this year was a sphere, and it is just 4 thirds pi r squared. This formula is pretty easy as long as you get all of these numbers correct because all you have to do is plug in the radius. So let's do that on number five. We want to find the volume of the sphere. The first thing I notice is that the radius is seven and one eighth. I'm going to see if I can convert that to a decimal so it's a little bit easier to work with. So I know it'll be seven point, I need to figure out what one eighth is as a decimal. So I'm gonna do one divided by eight and I get, 0.125. So the radius would be 7.125 instead of 7 and 1 8. And that'll be a little bit easier to type into my calculator now. I'm just going to plug into the formula 4 thirds pi r cubed. So it'll be v equals 4 thirds pi times my radius of 7.125 to the third. Now I'm just going to type that in. I'm going to start with the fraction template, alpha y equals 4 thirds times pi times my radius of 7.125. I'm going to use the caret key above the division key to the third power. And we get about 1515.5. Centimeters cubed for the volume of this sphere. Okay, number six says find the volume of a sphere that has a diameter of 32. So I only need one thing to find the volume of the sphere, which is the radius. The radius is half of the diameter, so 32 divided by 2, which is 16. And now I have everything I need to find the volume of the sphere. I'm going to plug into V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume will be whatever, 4 thirds pi times 16 cubed is. So I'm going to set up my fraction template, alpha y equals. I'm going to do 4 thirds times pi times 16 to the third power. And I get 17,157 point, that would round to 3 millimeters cubed for the volume of a sphere with a diameter of 32 millimeters. 
Okay, now we're gonna look at problem solving with volume. So sometimes they're not gonna ask for the volume, they're gonna give you the volume and ask for something else. So when that happens, you need to substitute what you were given into the formula and then solve for the missing variable. So let's look at number seven. It says the height of a cylinder is six centimeters. So I'm working with a cylinder, which I know is going to be the area of the base times the height. And the height is six centimeters. The circumference of the base of the circle is 18 pi. What is the volume of the cylinder? So this time it is asking for the volume. I need two things to find the volume. I need the area of the base times the height. They did tell me the height, it is six. I know the height is six, so I'll plug that in for six. They did not tell me the area of the base though, which is pi r squared. And I need one thing to find the area of the base, which is the radius. And they didn't even tell me the radius. They told me the circumference of the base is 18 pi. The circumference of the base is 18 pi. So let's think about the circumference formula. It is two pi r, two times pi times the radius. So that means that 18 is equivalent to two times the radius. So the radius would be half of 18, which is nine. So there's the radius, which I can now use to find the area of the base by doing pi times nine squared. So I'm gonna do that in the calculator now. And pi times nine squared is 254.5. So there's the area of the base. So to find the volume, I will just do that base that I just got, 254.5 times the height of six. So I'm just gonna hit times six to tell me the volume, and I get 1,526.8 centimeters cubed for the volume of that cylinder. Okay, let's look at number eight. It says the, the cone shown has a volume of 12 pi cubic meters. What is the measurement of the radius? So I'm dealing with a cone, let's write down that formula. It is one third B H. And I can see the height in the picture, it is nine. And they told me the volume is 12 pi. So let's substitute what I have into this formula and see what is missing. So the volume I know is 12 pi. So I'm gonna replace V with 12 pi. And I get 12 pi equals one third times the base times I know the height is nine. Okay, well I can simplify this a little bit. I can do one third times nine, which I know is three. So 12 pi is equivalent to three times the area of the base B. Okay, now I this equation right here is not gonna solve for the radius, but remember B equals pi R squared. So if I figure out what B is, then I can plug it in here and solve for the radius. So let's do that. The last thing I need to, get, need to do to get B by itself would be to divide by three and 12 pi divided by three is four pi. So four pi equals the area of the base. So now I'm gonna replace b, and b equals pi r squared with four pi. And I get four pi equals pi r squared. So now I'm trying to solve for r. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by pi, since r is being multiplied by pi. And I have a pi over pi that simplifies out on both sides. So then I get four equals radius squared. And to undo the square, I take the square root. And the square root of four is two. So the radius is two.